Let's give you a live look right now at the Caloosahatchee Bridge as we are just hours away, you heard that right, from the bridge reopening. The bridge, as we know, has been closed all summer because FDOT says it would speed up the project to make it safer for pedestrians and bicyclists. Now, I know many of you, many of us, have had to use the Edison or Midpoint Bridge to get back and forth as work was being done to add that sidewalk to the bridge there. And the opening of the bridge tomorrow morning comes as students in Lee County are ready to head back to school. Our NBC 2's Mohammed Abdul Kawi joins us live there in North Fort Myers. Mohammed, I'm sure a lot of neighbors and businesses in downtown Fort Myers are going to be happy this bridge is opening up again. <laughs> That's right, at least this is definitely the talk of the summer. I spoke to an FDOT spokesperson earlier today. He told me that the Caloosahatchee Bridge will be open no later than 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. There's also a chance that it will be open before then. For a lot of people, I'm sure it's affected. Nicholas Watkins whole summer changed all because of the Caloosahatchee Bridge closure. He and thousands of others had to find different ways to get around using the Midpoint and Edison bridges. I basically had to reroute my whole way, like direction to work and back. So instead of taking this all the way down to Santa Bob to go through Cape. The bridge was closed this summer to install an eight foot wide sidewalk aimed to enhance safety for pedestrians and cyclists crossing the bridge. Caden Lupian says he has felt the pressure even before the bridge was closed. You'd have to sit on the bridge during bad traffic hours for about an hour to 45 minutes, especially it was actually right when it started. My daughter was being born. But for people like Nicholas and Caden, they won't have to worry anymore. FDOT says the bridge will open back for drivers starting no later than 4 a.m. Monday morning, just in time for Lee County students going back to school. We've got to get the kids to school, man. That's the most important thing. Danella Newsom from FDOT says even though it's opening Monday, there will be limitations. The southbound lane will be down to one lane, while the northbound lanes will be open, but at times will be reduced to one lane as needed so crews can complete their work. Sometimes it depends on if they have large equipment and they may need to use one of those northbound lanes. And so when we say intermittently for now, both northbound lanes will be open for business. Closing the bridge down for 10 weeks allowed the project to be way ahead of schedule. Newsom said businesses that were in a pinch will see a difference. It was vital that we have this bridge reopened for business so that people can at least uh, go about their daily lives, get to where it is they need to go in a reasonable amount of time. While there's still more work to do, for some people, they're just glad the bridge will be back open. Yeah, I mean, as long as something's flowing, progress is progress. At least we're getting somewhere, you know, thank you for the people that are still working on the bridge, making sure it's safe. So it's a good start. Definitely exciting news here. FDOT told us that the Caloosahatchee Bridge will fully shut down again, not surely fully shut down again throughout the rest of this project. This project is expected to be completed in December. We're now live and local here tonight in North Fort Myers. Mohammed Abdul-Kawi, NBC2.